This morning, let's reflect a little about Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. 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 Always I, when I speak about the Holy Spirit, I start with, you know, there are three spirits in the world. One is Holy Spirit, second, evil spirit, and third, human spirit. Hallelujah. 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 So among these three spirits, two spirits have got, you know, no freedom at all. In the sense, Holy Spirit cannot do anything evil. Evil spirit cannot do anything good. Hallelujah. Rather, it may permit certain good. The evil spirit may permit, evil spirit may allow certain good to happen in order to preserve certain greater evil. Hallelujah. For example, I am a preacher here. I use the gift of the Holy Spirit for the preaching here. Everything is a gift of God. Even if I am in a state of lost grace, my soul is not in the state of grace, the evil spirit may not be touching my preaching field. So even though I am in sinfulness, my soul is lost, evil spirit will not touch in my preaching field. The reason, since I preach well, I'll be, I'll be, in this preaching can become a preserving factor for that the other evil spirit. The people may not recognize that I am an evil person. You understand? Understand? It's like, you know, the most beautiful poison is covered up with, um, you know, golden um, gift wrapper. Hallelujah. 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 Same like, you know, everyone who drinks the alcohol, they do not look at the cover of the bottle, in which it's clearly written, it's injurious to health. I'm speaking about those people who take branded ones, not the Gavati local ones. Hallelujah. 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 So it will be written outside. That's injurious to health. But what is the use? Hallelujah. So the evil spirit, it will, in order to preserve certain greater evil, it will allow some good to happen in your life. For example, if you are a prayerful personality, but have people got a complaint that we can't live alone with you? To live with certain charismatic people is very difficult, you know that? Arrogant, rude, rough, I don't know. Holy Spirit, uh, Jesus was like that. Sometimes people tend to be, you know, we are perfect more than Jesus. Really, I tell you. The church is, you know, the church moves at the tip of my finger. Some people claim like that. So the prayer life, their prayer life won't be touched by the evil spirit. The reason their family life is in, is in a ruined state. So this lady will be finding ultimate satisfaction in prayer. And that's our aim too. We should find satisfaction in prayer. Alone with that, the prayer has to be manifested in her action. That, that humility, that readiness to suffer, both husband and wife, that readiness to adjust, Everything has to be seen. If you are a prayerful personality, it has to be manifested in your action. Rather, you will be praying. And you know, after the prayer, you know, if it is in Kerala, we got a, a martial art called the Kalari. Kalari. So after the prayer, what we do? We extend our leg, we touch the ground, and we put it like this, and we start. Yeah! Yeah! Start in the family life. That's a prayer that we do as a beginning of the martial art. If you are a truly praying personality, you'll be able to bear the cross. Each other. Hallelujah. 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 So in order to preserve that, you know, peacelessness of your family, evil spirit won't be touching your prayer life. Come on. He will encourage you. Come on. Pray well, pray well, pray well. As a result, you will be advising so many people. They all will be listening to your advice. As you go back, they then to the neighbor and say, <laughs> praying person, have you gone to her house? Hell is better than that. 
and you become a scandal. A scandal. If you are working in Divine Retreat Center, a scandal for Divine Retreat Center. People will tell, huh, the person who works in Divine is like this and imagine about the situation of this Divine Retreat Center. Scandalized. They will be prevented to come to this center to listen to the word of God because of our scandalized life. Hallelujah. You understood? The evil spirit may allow certain good to happen in order to preserve greater evil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Give a mighty hand to the Lord. And third comes the human spirit. It has got absolute freedom. If it needs, it can turn to good. If it needs, it can turn to evil. It's up to him. Hallelujah. And it's up to, you know, which spirit he downloads to the human spirit. Accordingly, he will take its turn. If he invites and downloads the Holy Spirit more into his human spirit, he will be turning towards good. If he is downloading the evil spirit more to his human spirit, he will be turned towards evil. Hallelujah. Oriented towards evil. Hallelujah. 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 So my dear brothers and sisters, Holy Spirit. When the concept of this Holy Spirit was not yet developed, David prayed in Psalm 51. Lord, you can do anything and everything else to me, but except only one thing. Do not cast me away from your presence. Do not take away your spirit from me. That was the time that the concept of the Holy Spirit was not developed. The concept of the Holy Spirit was developed later. At the time of Jesus, there are three persons in one God. All those things are revealed to us by Jesus. When there was no concept of the Holy Spirit existing in a theological manner, David prayed in this way, Do not take away the Spirit from me, O Lord. You can do anything else to me except... Please don't take away your spirit from me. Why? How David understood that? Psalms are the experience of the David. Always remember that. Psalms are composed by David out of his experience. Why? But how come he know that, you know, don't take away the spirit? The concept is not at all developed. No. You know, inspiration with regard to the Bible means it's not dictation. Always remember. What does the Catholic Church speak about? Inspiration of the Bible. Holy Spirit has not told like this, in the beginning there was word. In the beginning there was word. The word was with God. The word was, no, no, no. Not at all dictated like that. But just reminded, inspired. So four of them had their own perspective to compose the gospel. One miracle reflected in four different ways. Human spirit has influenced the gospel. You know that? According to their orientation, Matthew wanted to write to the Jews. So always he quotes. This was to fulfill what the prophet has already told. Why? He has to prove before the Jews that he is the fulfillment of the Old Testament prophecies. The promised Messiah. So that politics is there working in his writing. Luke was a doctor and a supporter of the women. So Luke will be always, Jesus moved with the compassion, touched him and said, touched him, all the doctorly mannerisms will be explained by Luke. And he uplifted women. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mark wanted to present Jesus as a king. Then how he's present after every miracle. Who is this? Who is this? The question will be there always. And the answer will be the next passage. Even the wind and the sea obey him. Who is this? Son of God. Who is this? Like that, you know, titles. Everyone had their own politics. Hallelujah. As I preach the good news to you, I get the inspiration. But I want to look at you. If you go to, to drowsiness, I will have my own politics. I will make some joke and begin to speak. Or I will increase, praise the Lord, hallelujah. You understand? Hallelujah. So now we come back. Why David prayed like that? The reason 
you know why David, what was the reason that David came to the palace of Saul? What was the reason that David came to the palace of Saul? When he was a king, when Saul was a king. As it was asked, what's the name of the first king of Israel? Saul. Later he got converted into? Paul. Ah, good. <laughs> Hallelujah. That Saul is different and that Paul is different. Always, you know, this is a mistake. When someone used to preach, you have to correct them. You know, Saul got converted into Paul. No. Why? Exactly. He had two citizenship. Paul had two citizenship. His uh, Roman name is Paulos. His Israel or Hebrew name is Saul. He was an Israelite as well as a Roman citizen. That's why he was judged in Rome. He asked, are you dare enough to judge a Roman citizen? Then they were afraid, the soldiers. My God, he's a Roman citizen. So he had two names. There is no matter of conversion of name and all. Then it has to be done the opposite. The Roman has become now the Israelite. Paul has to become Saul then. Isn't it? Hallelujah. Give a mighty hand to the Lord. So now, David comes to the palace of Saul in order to play that instrument. Whenever Saul got, you know, infected or affected with the evil spirit, it was David who used to play that instrument. When David plays, the evil spirit used to go out of the Saul. It is written, Saul didn't know that the Holy Spirit left him. David has seen personally experienced the pathetic situation of a person who really lost the spirit. That mad situation, how the soul was suffering, he could see with his own eyes the situation, the tragic situation of a person who lost the Holy Spirit. That much mad soul used to become. That's why immediately he prays after committing sin with Bathsheba. You can take over, take, you can do anything else to me, Lord, except please do not take away your spirit because I have seen it. I have experienced the one who lost the spirit. Please don't do that to me. Hallelujah. 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 The gospel of Saint Mark chapter 5 speaks about a person who is possessed with the evil spirit. That means a person does not have the Holy Spirit at all. What was his nature? He used to live in the midst of the tomb. If you want to understand whether a person, whether a person is filled with the Holy Spirit or no, number one sign, check out his residence, check out his friendship. Jesus says, when an evil spirit leaves a person, it wanders to the waterless region. You know, water symbolizes Holy Spirit. According to the Bible, water symbolizes Holy Spirit. Waterless region means the person with the evil spirit will be always staying in the midst of those people who do not have the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. That's why in English there is a proverb, there is a saying like this, show me your friends, I'll tell you who you are. And demoniac, a demoniac will be living in a cemetery-like family. What is cemetery-like family? Dry bonds, decayed dead bodies. Husband and wife not talking to each other. That's a cemetery-like family. Parents and children who do, do not communicate with each other. Dead family is a cemetery-like family. The children come out of that family will be not filled with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. So check out your residence. Clean it off. Clean it off. Clean it up. You know why? The first miracle of Jesus at Cana. What happened there? There we can see a bunch of servants who just obeyed the words of Jesus. They were slaves. I, I still don't understand what was the courage that they had. Jesus didn't work his first miracle. Jesus didn't reveal about him at all. Then he tells them, come on, pour water into that empty jars. They obeyed. And water symbolizes Holy Spirit. When John writes especially. And they pause it. And you know, as it was taken to that steward, he tasted. And he didn't know from where this came. But who knew it? What is written in the Gospel of St. John? Who knew it? The servants knew it. 
who fetched that water knew it my dear brothers and sisters take your phone and check out your contact list have you got those servants as your friends who simply obey the words of jesus then they will find out that your jars are empty the wine has went off that means the sweetness of your life is no more if you have got some friends who just simply listen to the words of jesus they will listen to the word of jesus again through their prayer they will pour out holy spirit into your empty jars and you'll become you know you will regain the sweetness of your life back so clear out the place which you leave hallelujah 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 secondly a person who is filled with the holy spirit the person was you know person who was filled with the evil spirit it was so dangerous that no one could walk through that way it's written no one could walk through that way some charismatic some people who are filled with the holy spirit they say neighbor is evil that person is evil this person did jesus including the demoniac did he say that person is evil did he reject anyone who came to him rather he didn't reject or didn't hurt anyone rather he moves away that's okay but some people are there you are evil i don't want a company with you they hurt always remember i can talk to a person in two way as i am talking with a person you come to my room you opened you know because of your friendship with me you opened the door and came into me i can communicate that message in two way get out from my room get lost don't you see that a person is sitting in front of me second way uh excuse me um i am talking with this person uh will you give me two more minutes i'll finish this off and get back to you okay the purpose is done the message is communicated right but two are two different ways when we are over zealous how do we speak uh, how do we tell our children to pray how many times i told you to pray 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 and pray will you feel to pray hmm the way that we communicate why i said this in opposition to this jesus is already told in the gospel of saint luke chapter 4 the spirit of god is upon me he has anointed me rest all things symbolizes the character of the person who is filled with the holy spirit the spirit of god is upon me therefore he has anointed me to bring good news only good news not bad news to the poor are you a good news can others stay with you are you so dangerous that others can't walk through your way i used to say like this you know outside of the house there will be always a board written beware of dogs when we ring the bell from inside we can hear who is that what do you want exactly the board written outside is perfect correct Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My dear brothers and sisters, are you a person who is filled with the Holy Spirit? Can others sit in your presence? Do others love to have your presence? Do others long to be with you? You know, when I say like this, you know, there are duplicate graces that is provided by evil spirit. Always remember that. Some people always understand <clears throat> the third character of the evil spirit it always destroy you know causing wound to its own body he was damaging causing damage to his own body why alcohol is injurious to health it causes damage to your own body smoking injurious to health causes you know damage to your own body if you are a personality of having such kind of evil habits you are damaging your body as like the demoniac but here in opposite to that what does the evil what does the holy spirit say your body is the temple of god hallelujah so knowing your body is important one who destroys the temple what god has said god will destroy him when you destroy your body it is said god will destroy you your body is the temple of the holy spirit 
body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. Can this is a church too, not only a retreat hall. Am I right? Inside of this church, I arrange a multi Christian restaurant. One side, Asian continental food, Chinese food, American food, Japanese food. Will you agree with that? Why? That's something in opposite to the concept of the temple, right? The body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Do you agree with that? Or else I'll, I'll, I'll fix a screen out here and project the, the big budget movie, Bahubali, on the stage. Will you agree to that? Why that's so unbecoming for a temple, isn't it? Huh? Am I right? Am I right? Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. So don't be a walking sexy movie. If it is a temple of the Holy Spirit, the people who look at your body and your dress must understand this is a temple of the Holy Spirit, not a sexy movie. Adorn yourself. Because when the evil spirit goes out of a person, it is written, he dressed up well and sat in his right mind. When the evil spirit leaves, the first sign it is said there, he dresses up well. Two ways you can adorn yourself. Even if you claim before me, it's my freedom. Okay, freedom for what? And freedom from what is a different question. We don't have time to answer for that. You should and must be beautiful when you come to the church. Should and must be beautiful when you come to the church. Beauty and sexy are two different terms. Understand. Beauty and sexy are two different terms. The fact that you are beautiful, it's not a license for you to adorn yourself, especially when you come to the church in a sexy manner, dressed. And when I say this, I have not taken any PhD in this topic, you know it well. Please, don't do that. Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Temple doesn't project itself. Yeah, yeah, I am the temple of the Holy Spirit. The people who built it, the people who decorates it, has to do that. Hallelujah. Give a mighty hand to the Lord, please. So it's always God asks you to become a good news to the poor. Good news, liberation to the people. Liberation, that means not making captive. If a spiritual figure, for that matter, if it's me or any counselor that gives you a message, if he enslaves you to his message. I have seen, you know, uh, uh, Father, so shall we go for a movie? Father, wait. Uh, there is a counselor. He takes the message for us and, you know, he will tell us where to go or when to go. This Sadi, I have to take message from God. Slave to the message. It's not liberation. You know, Jesus will en never enslave you. This will give you freedom. Even Jesus will never make you a slave of himself. You know that? Jesus will never make yourself a slave to Jesus. He will not. Rather, he will call you, I call you friends. Not slaves. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give a mighty hand to the Lord, please. So now, my brothers and sisters, the life in spirit. The person is not supposed to harm, to uh, do any harm to our own body. Rather, keep our body safe, secure, and pure. And another characteristic. The person will be, you know, shouting at, you know, he came to Jesus and is telling, Hey, what have you to do with me, Jesus, son of David? What does that mean? When we speak about certain things, does that question come into your mind? Oh, Father, why do you address all these things to us? Just leave it. What's there for you? Why do you interfere in our matter? Just go away from us. Why do you want me to change my life? Such question comes into your mind. That's, not, that's a sign that there is the absence of Holy Spirit. But rather, we see Samayon and Anna. It's written there. Both of them didn't leave the temple. If you want 
to receive the Holy Spirit. About them, it is said, they didn't leave the temple and the Holy Spirit revealed to them that the coming child is the Messiah. That means, if you really want the Spirit, never leave the temple. That's a sign. Your relationship with Jesus, not making him away. Your relationship with your parish church. Some people are there who are not at all in good terms with the parish priest and the parish, but they are the, they are the event managers of the retreat centers. I hate them. Spiritually. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give a mighty hand to the Lord. When I say that I hate them, I don't hate them. I hate that particular character. Because I used to think at least they are here in the presence of God. If we kick them off, there will be nowhere. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So life in spirit. Another speciality of the Holy Spirit. You know, when the Holy Spirit leaves that person, evil spirit leaves that person, he will get clothed. What is, you know, what is, he was a naked man. What is the meaning of nakedness? The things that are not supposed to show outside is seen outside. The situation is called nakedness. As a priest, I should not be indulging in some particular sins. When I commit that sin, the thing that is not expected from me, when it is exposed outside, it becomes nakedness, spiritual nakedness. You understand? As a father, there are certain things that you are not supposed to do. For example, as a father, in fact, you become a husband too. You should not be the husband of the neighbor's wife too. When you behave like that, it's a nakedness. That's something not expected from you when it's manifested outside. It's nakedness. Something that you are not supposed to show outside. When it's seen outside, it's called nakedness. As a Christian, certain things you are not supposed to show outside. When it comes outside, you become naked. Sign of a demoniac. Hallelujah. You understand? Hallelujah. That's why St. Paul gives a list of the people, person who are filled with the Spirit. They will be thinking one and the same thing. There will be dis, there won't be disunity. And will be remaining in prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And in love. Hallelujah. Give a mighty hand to the Lord, please. And again, when that evil spirit leaves that person, he clothes himself and, you know, next thing, he wanted to follow Jesus, but what Jesus does? What did you do? Go back to your, go back to your family. If we are a person who is freed from the evil spirit and filled with the Holy Spirit, you will have a good connection with your family. Hallelujah. That is expected from you. Begin from there. Your children and your wife, they need you first, not divine retreat center needs you. Your husband and wife, your wife or your children, they need you. First you begin from there. You know Samuel was a prophet, a judge and a priest. We had no time to take rest at all. The first book of 1 Samuel, chapter 8, I think we read, two of his sons were appointed as judge, and both of them got rejected by God. This may happen in our lives too. You know what's the problem? When Jesus does the miracle of, you know, increasing, multiplying the bread, disciples collected the leftover 12 baskets. The problem, do you collect anything left over? The grace that is flowing through, we supply the grace. We give the grace. We give the bread. And after providing it, everything, to our children, to our family, have anything left over for us? That grace. I'm a preacher. I preach the deliverance. After giving you the deliverance, am I getting delivered from the evil spirit is the question. Hallelujah. 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 Go back to your family, there you have to first clear that area, then come for the preaching. Otherwise, you're gonna have to become a great scandal for the church and for God. Life in spirit. Hallelujah. So I conclude. To receive the spirit, I told you number one, 
stay in the house of the Lord. Number two, God has told, the word that I have spoken to you is life and spirit. The word of God, listen to it. As Peter was proclaiming, the people got filled with the Holy Spirit. Acts of the Apostles written there. So when you read the Bible, you get the life and spirit. Number three, when Mother Mary greets you, Mother Mary greeted Elizabeth, she got filled with the Holy Spirit. If she greets you, you will be filled with the Holy Spirit. If you want me to greet you first, you have to greet me first. Am I right? So it's better always to give her the greeting that the heaven greeted her. What is that? Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is, whenever you pray that prayer, you are greeting the Blessed Virgin Mary, making use of the greeting that the heaven provided her. That's a breast greeting. And she will greet you back and you'll be filled with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Because wherever there is Blessed Virgin Mary, see, in the midst of the apostles, there comes the Holy Spirit again. Hallelujah. 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 And you've got confusion. How is it going to happen? What will be the future of my children? When you are standing in, in front of the impossibilities, you are reflecting the same question that she reflected. How, it is, how is it possible? Reply will be given to you. The Holy Spirit will come to you. That is the answer. If the Holy Spirit descend upon your children, everything will be fine. Give a mighty hand to the Lord, please. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, we conclude. The problem of our family is the problem of the language. The language of the heart of the wife is not understood by the husband. The language of the uh, ha heart of the husband is not understood by the wife. The language of the parents are not understood by the children. The language of the children are not understood by the parents. This is the actual problem. And we see in the scripture, God shattered this language as men challenged God and began to build the Tower of Babel. There the language got separated. When you challenge God, thinking that this child is mine, I tune him. You know, you need not go for Sunday Mass or Catechism, go for entrance class. You are challenging God. Ha! Without Him, you can build your future, right? When you challenge in that way, you know, forgetting the godly ways, you are moving in your own way to secure money. You are challenging God. What is going to happen? You know, look at the you know, majority of the rich people who are not, you know, you are not in connection with the church. Just go and stay with them. You can understand. Husband and wife. Children, their own way. Language. No connection. No connection. So that language gets united on the day of Pentecost. When the Holy Spirit came back. So what does it mean? God separated the language. He took away the spirit from human being. When the spirit came back, when Peter stood up and spoke, everyone understood in their own language. This anointing should happen in our lives. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Emmanuel Conference with a Youth Retreat and Family Renewal Retreat from December 18th to 23rd. You're welcome to stay for Christmas. Special retreats to be led by Father Augustine Waluran and Father John Kanicheri and Father Dibin Aluwasheri and the Divine Retreat Center team. For more details, contact us at divineretreatcenter at gmail.com.